Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Neal's Lego Robotics. Okay, so you got your Lego Education Spike Prime Kit. You make your robot and you're wondering, hey Miss Tahina, how can I just program this robot to just go forward and do some turns? Today's video is for you because I'm going to show you how simple that can be. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so I have the robot here on the start mat. I want it to go forward. I want it to make a right turn and I want it to now go to the finish mat that's over here at the end of the table. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Spike Prime software here. I got my when the program starts. We're going to set it for 20%. I don't need this thing going super fast. I'm going to set my motors for A and C. Um, I'm going to set this for 625 degrees. You have other options here, but I just like degrees. The reason why you see move backwards is the motor is backwards, so backwards is going to be forward. I like to do one single motor turn, so I have the C motor turning at 20% at 260 degrees. And then I'm going to have it go forward for that same 20%, but it's going to be longer for 1,650 degrees. So that should just get me from the start, make a turn, and get to the finish. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Now what I want it to do is have this be able to come back to the start. So I'm going to do another C motor turn, set this for 25%, no, 20%. And what I want it to do is come back home. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and set this turn for the same turn that I had at the beginning. So that 260 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to duplicate. You just duplicate this. I'm going to go ahead and just right click, duplicate. And because this is a rectangle, I'm going to have that same program make the robot come all the way back to the beginning. And that's going to be pretty easy breezy. There's the whole program. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Okay guys, so that's it. That's simple as I can make it. And this robot is really cool. I have been with the EV3 this whole time. I've had Spike Prime before, but we've just never been able to get to it. It's been kind of an, a supplemental robot where we did some cool things like the Rubik's Cube Solver. I'll throw that video down at the end of this video. 
So for those of you that are getting heavily into Spike Prime, hopefully this is a good start. In the coming, I just dropped something off here. In the coming weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and do some other programming where we can use the sensors, but today it was just forwards and turns. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out.